what happens in the walk and turn test. Attorney Aaron Bortel explains that. Another test is called the walk and turn test or the walk the line test. During the walk and turn test, the person would have to walk the line out, turn around, come back, and if there were a certain number of clues present, meaning the person did a certain number of things wrong, they would determine the person did not pass that test. Again, before the test, there is an instructional phase, and then someone will be asked to walk heel to toe, looking at their feet, counting out loud, nine steps out, and nine steps back, taking a pivot when they get nine out. The officers are looking for balance to see if someone raises their arms, if they touch heel to toe, if they start too soon, and if they count properly. It only takes two mistakes or clues to be considered intoxicated. For a free case evaluation, contact attorney Aaron Bortel in California today. His years of experience with DMV have helped many clients save or regain their licenses after being accused of DUI.